God is saying, you can confess a whole lot to me. He said, and thank you very much. But prayer's me telling you the real problem. Yeah. Don't nobody know you like me. Yeah. Nobody know the depths of Shandobaha. He said, nobody know the depths of that evil but me. That's why I appreciate generational curses. I appreciate that whole ministry and concept. But he said, listen, the only, your family may have been alcoholics. And you may be scared you're going to drink. But that ain't the only something you could do. He said, in this flesh dwelling. That may have been just what it was. But you say, I just thank God he broke the generational curse. I'm not drinking. Yeah, but you whoring like I don't know what. He says, so I don't even go to. He said, I'm after your whole heart. He said, and I need prayer to be my channel and my line of communication. He said, I want your whole heart and don't stop me when I tap the real you. He said, don't stop me when you feel something mad and you ain't hungry. You, you know when they can preach on a thing? And that thing, and you go to growling, you know you ain't hungry. You ain't. It's him. He go to twist in the seat. That's a good, comfortable seat. Ain't nothing wrong with that seat. It's when God is saying, I'm getting to the core. Stop. Come on and tell me yes. See, the whole essence of telling yes for our ministry. I'm not saying yes to tell you to say yes as a fill-in. Because I brought my own amens. But it's when God feeds, as God is feeding right now. And as he feeds, the Holy Ghost will stop all of a sudden and say, say yes to say, do you agree? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Then tell the Lord, yes. He said, and every time you agree, my power said, okay, I can come in. Oh, open your heart and tell him, yes. Open your heart and tell the Lord, yes. I want you to do the Lord, I see you under the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. So God is saying, he said, I got to send enough spirit. I got to send enough word. I got to send enough anointing that I can keep dropping in. And the anointing can keep replacing what you took out. And if I got to wait just a little while, this is when my prayer got to get stronger. Uh, it's in the crossroads. It's the time that God said, this is who you are. But this is what you're going to be. I didn't tell you how long it's going to take. I didn't tell you the test you're going to have to go through. I didn't tell you how much you'll be despised. I didn't tell you how much people are going to talk about you. I didn't tell you how you was going to be by yourself. But that's the time you better pray. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm determined, Jesus. Come on and bless me right now. Because I'm still telling you yes. I'm still telling you yes. I'm still telling you yes. It's the crossroads. On the behalf. And what the enemy is most after is our leaders. We're not crazy. The mandate. Oh, Jesus. And the pressure. I'm talking about God's leaders. They feel the pressure. I'm coming soon. Are you saying what I want you to say? To get my church ready. I'm talking about the gifts of God. I'm talking about the preachers of God. They can feel the weight of it. You're looking in the news and you're hearing of another death. You hear about another child being murdered. You are hearing about another rape. And everything you're saying is, God, am I doing all to do my part? That that crime level can come down a little bit. Am I doing my all? That when souls come into the church, am I preaching so they can really be delivered? Oh, church, come on and tell God yes if you know it now. He told us, and I share this almost everywhere I go. He told us when we began the pastor, he told us, he said, he said, now every demon that Satan puts out, he puts out a convenience for them to stay alive. They have a source. So if he birthed out crackheads, 
They got crack houses so that that spirit can stay alive. You got prostitutes and you got a whorehouse. Y'all can, can y'all work with me? So spirits can stay alive. You have witches and they have their house so they can stay alive. He said, now, let me help you understand. He said, my house is the one place on earth that they're supposed to be able to come to. I wouldn't care if they're barking at the moon. They're supposed to be able to come to my house and be delivered. He said, now that's your job, is to keep the prayer in the church enough. The Bible said, when Zion travailed, she brought forth. See, that meant the tears already went up. The catching up already happened. So by the time the soul comes to the altar, all they can do is lift their hands. Deliverance is already ready. We've been praying for you a long time. We've already put the days up. We've already put the time up. What you need, God has got it. If you're ready for the assignment, tell God yes. Oh, clap those hands if you're ready for the assignment. And so in all that we're doing, God said, I need some vessel that'll let me pray through enough that all I want is a vessel that'll carry power and be responsible for power and be responsible. Are y'all hearing me? For an anointing. That means whatever I ask you to do, fasting broke my will down enough. That God or oh, fasting didn't do it. I promise you, your test will do it. Yeah. Honey, what your fasting and prayer don't do. Trust me, your trials going As my daughter in the gospel say, bring you on down, bring you on down, bring you on down. God said, whatever it's going to take. He said, I need some vessels that aren't praying for you only, but understand the assignment and the mandate he's asked us to do. Go to Luke 1. Yes, Lord. And we're going to be through. We're going to go to Luke 1. It's a salutation of Mary. Luke 1. It's the 27th verse. God, I love you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to be caught up in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be caught up with an assignment. Otherwise, I don't have to be saved. I'll go to hell in a limousine before I come over here and don't have nothing to do but go from service to service. The devil is a lie. I know y'all don't like me. The devil is, I'm not going to be saved and not be used by God. I'm not going to do it. And then I'm not going to be over here and get cheated out of the power and authority I'm supposed to have. I ain't going to do it. I want, and I know when you say that, you're putting yourself out there. I done done it too many times. Now I'm used to it. I want everything God have assigned for my life and power and authority. I want it. He told us, he said, you can't be happy. We want everything. Listen, I'm, please, I need to say these things lightly, and I don't need you to take them personal. You can't get happy about no charisma and TBN. Or, he said, that don't mean you arrived. He said, you'll be on TBN, and I'll never see you on my channel in the Holy Ghost. I said, oh, Lord. He said, you want to be one book in the Bible. Obadiah ain't got but one chapter. He said, but he in the book. That's all you want to be is in the book. You got major prophets and minors. As long as I'm in the book, I'm happy. Come on, and what did he say? And in the sixth month, uh -huh. the angel Gabriel was sent from God yes. unto a city of Galilee. Yes, come on, God, help Nazareth, us, come on. To mm -hmm. a virgin and spouse to a man yes, come on. whose name was Joseph, whose name was Joseph come of on. the house of David. Yes. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the virgin's name was Mary, come on, yes. And the angel came in unto her. And we know the story, the angel came in unto her, yes. And said, yes. Hail, Hail come thou on. art highly favored. Yes, and what did he say? The Lord is with thee. Yes, now, some of us have received salutations. And then when the gift came to make it, you backed up. God, help me to get loose and preach it. When the gift came to make you, you backed up. 
When the anointing came to correct you, you backed up. When he started telling you and showing you what it took, you backed up. When you saw you couldn't do some of the things you used to do, you backed up. When you saw the trouble, it was 